Good Thursday, January 31st, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Commander Taco. The founder of Slashdot, Mr. Taco, has seen some things. Don't keep up with Slashdot? After a small group of curators select new submissions from the Slashdot community, the community then chimes in with comments ranging from very insightful, to humorous, to not as insightful. I would never suggest anything like that happens here at Rocket Boom. You never leave unpleasant comments. Seriously though, as we've said before, Slashdot may be best known for the incredible brain trust of the commenters. When reading the comments, it often seems like you're hearing from true experts in the field, and quite often, the comments add a much greater wealth of information, research references, and further resources than the original. So it was quite interesting to read a recent New York Times article on Slashdot's new site edition, Idle. Inspiration for a non-tech Slashdot, and especially hear the founder's insight into the wisdom of the crowds. Quoth he, the taco. A lot of these community news sites are all about Ron Paul. Ron Paul may be a valid candidate, but what it's really demonstrating is that you're seeing one or two percent of a community shaping where the whole community is going. A small, dedicated group of people can manipulate these sites very easily. In other words, if you're familiar with Dig, it's interesting to notice that certain niche topics and subjects always make it to the top, such as this one or this one which does seem to emphasize the point that Dig and other like communities are comprised of very small groups of influentials, however valid the story may be. Last week, Dig changed some of their algorithms in an attempt to offset some of this naturally occurring hierarchical effect. In so doing, Commander Taco's argument presented itself even more clearly as the lead influentials of Dig threatened to revolt, undermining the foundation and exposing the fragility of the entire effort. Well, did you know that you can has cheeseburger? Literally. Now cans have cheeseburgers. But that's beside the point. Have you seen Reddit lately? It's pretty clear this community has a large voice for a small percentage's worth as well. You can usually tell by the top headlines there. Same at Fox News. As Eric Bowler notes, Fox's favourite son Giuliani is at large, not so much. Fox's loss of political integrity with the refusal of Democrats to debate on the network. Fox's Bill O'Reilly resorting to violence to gain access to newsworthy events. Their new business network with an audience the size of my pinky finger. It all adds up to niche agendas that they push, all in the guise of reporting the news. But who is they, anyway? Okay, that's a they. Who else? There are assembled the world's four greatest heroes. Granted. In this way, the symbolic universe orders and thereby legitimates everyday roles, priorities, and operating procedures by placing them subspecie universi, that is, in the context of the most general frame of reference conceivable. Incidentally, this is indirectly related to Gamera. A turtle with fangs that shoots rocket jets out its shell. Meanwhile, Andy Plesser of Beat TV sat down with Jim Diaz, head of strategy at Views, formerly Azirius, about his P2P user base. Other than that, there's always the story of the lonely amoeba. Remember that moment at a young age, probably in school, when you first considered the reality of all life breaking down to a single-celled amoeba? Yeah, so that's just one thing. Some say less, some say more. I say what you say, thereby what we all say, isn't always what they say. See? See. See ya.